Good morning. Okay, periodically throughout this year, I'm going to be presenting your team and sometimes you individually with many critical thinking challenges that are obviously centered around the current accounting um, vocabulary, concepts, terms, ideas that we're studying. And so this morning, I'm going to present you with your first mini critical uh, thinking accounting challenge. And for this first one, I'm going to allow you to work together as a team. And at the end of the challenge, you're all going to, your teams are going to individually come up to the class. You're going to present your response to the challenge. And I'll add uh, a few uh, extra points to your team's individual uh, score um, based on who I feel does the best. Let's take a look at what this challenge is. Before I present you with the task, I'm just going to show you three pictures, and I just want you to take a few seconds to look at each picture. Here's picture number one. And picture number two. And lastly, picture number three. Okay, now here's your question. Out of those three pictures that I presented to you, the painting, the cash, and the winter vacation home, which asset would you think is best to have in your possession? Now, first thing I want to make clear, um, the painting isn't necessarily a Michelangelo uh, member, by the way, best friends with Father uh, Luca Pacioli, the father of accounting. That's not actually the Mona Lisa. Um, I just want you to pretend that's it's in an exotic rare painting valued at 460000 Okay. The second item, um, a cash gift valued at $355,300. It's a lot of money. And the last item is that winter vacation home. Look how beautiful that looks with the windows in the back. It's probably on a ski resort uh, valued at $410,000. So you have your exotic rare painting, your cash gift, or your winter vacation home. Now here's your question. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm first going to give you two minutes of basically me time. Two minutes for you to think to yourself, uh, personally reflect to yourself on what you think the best response should be. Which one of those three would be best for you to have? Okay? After those two minutes are up, I'm going to set you loose and I'm only going to give your team exactly six minutes to come up with what your team thinks together would be the best of those three assets to own. Um, now, however you want to use your six minutes is up to you. Whether each one of you wants to first go around and share your individual thoughts, or if you just want to immediately jump right in and start brainstorming, that's up to you guys, but you only have six minutes. Okay? So here's the question. Which of the three assets that I presented to you does your team think is the best to have in their possession? Do you think it's the piece of exotic art, the cash, or the winter vacation home? Again, which of those three assets does your team think is the best to have in their possession? Okay? Uh, again, first you're going to get two minutes, then we're going to group you up, you're going to get six minutes, and then when you're all done, all the teams are going to come up, you're going to present to the rest of the class your responses, and then I'm going to vote on this one, on which one I think is the best, and that winning team is going to get a few extra percentage points added to their total team score, which for some of you guys, you can start to jump up the rankings. Now, last thing I'm going to say here is there's no right or wrong answer to this task. Um, you could be right no matter if you pick the painting, the cash, or the winter vacation home. What I'm looking for is you to bring in accounting vocabulary that we've already talked about and that your answers show critical thought and um, basically make sense. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. Be creative, but show critical thought. Okay? All right. The clock is running. Your two minutes of personal reflective thinking begins right now. Good luck.